Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this one I'm gonna be showing you how you can enable the heads up display on your iPhone and iPad devices. So you will be able to get frames per second, you will be able to get CPU usage, GPU usage, how much RAM your phone or that particular game is utilizing, you will be able to get the exact resolution that the game is running at and the game is getting rendered at. So because if it's doing some kind of upscaling and anything, you will be able to know like a lot of details. So because I made uh, iPhone 17 Pro Max's uh, performance, gaming performance test videos and those videos are doing really, really well, I just can't thank you enough because one of those videos is about to cross 100,000 views. That's a huge number for me because I am a small YouTuber. And uh, if that video crosses 100,000 views, that will be my first video to do 100K. And I just can't thank you enough. Really appreciate it. So a lot of the comments in those videos, the performance test videos, are saying that how do I enable this heads up display? So I don't wanna gatekeep this particular method, so I want everybody to use it. So if you wanna make videos or if you wanna just um, do some cool stuff, show your friends the performance of your phone or show you so show some tricks, that's totally fine with me and uh, this is the video for you. So for this, you will obviously need your iOS device or iPadOS device, depending on which one you will be doing the performance test on. So I'm using my iPhone 17 Pro Max and I've tested it on uh, iPhone SE second generation. I've tested it on iPhone 12. It basically works on every iPhone, but it just needs to be running the latest iOS software. If you have an old iOS software, it should still work. If your device doesn't support the iOS 26, but just make sure to update to the latest iOS software version that your device supports and it should work just fine. And then you will need a data cable, like not the data cable, but the charging cable because data cables are much more thicker than these. And uh, so just make sure that you have the Apple original cable because I have tried this with third party cables and I've run into some issues in the past. So that's why just to eliminate any of the issues, use the Apple original cable. So this cable you will be using to connect your phone to your Mac. So that I am coming to the third thing that you need is a Mac. It can be a Mac desktop, it can be a Mac laptop, doesn't matter, just needs to be running the latest version of Mac OS that your device supports. Once you have all that, the next thing that you will need you will have to have developer mode enabled on your iPhone. So I am not going to explain the process of enabling developer mode. So the things that you will need to enable developer mode as are exactly the same, Mac, cable, and your phone. And uh, I will put a link in the description down below. I have made two very, very detailed videos on how to enable developer mode on iPhone. So I'm not going to do that again. So go check that video out and uh, learn how to enable developer mode. It'll just take you a couple minutes and then come back to this video and then we'll continue. So once you have the developer mode enabled, I want you to go to settings of your iPhone that have the developer mode enabled, the one that you will be doing the performance test on. So go to settings, scroll to the bottom, and once you have developer mode enabled, at the bottom you will see an option that says developer. So click on that, and once you're there, you will see a bunch of options. And uh, if you don't know what these settings do, I repeat, do not mess around with these, okay? So if you are not sure what a setting does, just don't mess around, okay? Because these are developer settings and uh, just don't fool around. <laughs> so I want you to scroll close to the bottom but not quite there yet. You will see something called Graphics HUD, so Graphics HUD. And the first option is Show Graphics HUD. You will have to enable that option. So see, I have it enabled now, okay? And the other one says log graphics performance. We don't need that, so don't worry about that. And if you click the graphics HUD, the last option in that menu, and over here you will be able to adjust the opacity of that overlay. You will be able to adjust the size of that overlay as well. And you will be able to set the location of that overlay. So if you want it centered for some reason, if you want it top left, 
top center, top right. I usually prefer, or most of the people prefer it at top right. So we'll not mess around with that. You can mess around with the scale. And uh, you can also like toggle any of these things off and on. As you can see, it has a lot of options. Metal FX, shader compiler, and uh, encoder time, GPU timeline, frame rate interval, GPU time, frame number, FPS graph, frames per second, game mode, if it's enabled or enabled, refresh rate of the screen that it's running at at the moment. So it has a lot of options. So depending on what metrics you want to measure, which test you want to run, which things you want to show in your video if you're a content creator trying to learn this. So depending on that, enable or disable options. So once you have that, it's not this simple. So you will be thinking that, okay, I have enabled that, now I will launch a game and it'll just work. No, it won't because I was thinking the same thing and it didn't work. So that's when our charging cable and our Mac comes into play. So now what we will do, we will connect one end of the cable to the Mac and the other end of the cable to our iPhone and make sure the phone trusts the computer, the computer trusts the phone and etc. Once that is done, then you will have to open terminal on your Mac. So just simply press command and space, that'll open spotlight search and then search terminal. Or if you don't wanna open it from here, you can just simply search it in applications. There we go, terminal, and uh, you can open terminal from here. So that's my terminal. Now, the steps to enable the developer mode. So this is very, very crucial. So pay very close attention. So the first command, and I will also put these commands in text form in the description down below. So you don't have to type everything. So you can just copy and paste it from the description. All right. So first command that you will have to put is this one, Xcron device connected lists. Okay, so copy it and in your terminal, paste it and enter. Nothing happened. Sometimes that does happen, so let's try again. Paste it again, there we go, so it worked. So now it is showing all the devices that are trusted and that were ever connected with this Mac. Thing that you need from here, we ran this command because we need the device identifier from it. So the device that you want to enable the developer mode on, identify it. So I want to do it for this iPhone 17 Pro Max. So grab this identifier ID. So for this one is 590B something something. So just copy it all like that and keep it safe somewhere. So where you, because I don't want you to, I don't want you to have to like run this command every single time in order for getting the identifier key, right? So then the next step is running this particular command, this one, okay? So this command will vary for every single device differently because we will have to put the identifier in this command. So this stuff will remain the same, the xcrun uh, device control device info processes hyphen hyphen device and then there is a space and then this part so this is the device identifier the code that we copied from the terminal so the identifier that you have for your device you will need to paste that code over here just paste it and make sure that the spaces at the first, like before the code and space after the code remains. So don't change the command, just remove the code, the exemplary code that I have added in the description and add your device's identifier code, okay? And the rest of it will remain the same, like GREP, then bundle application, okay? So now, because I already have my device identifier added in it, I will copy this command and go back to terminal and we will have to enter this command. So 
What this command will do, it will bring all the processes that are running at the moment on our iPhone. And so you will have to kind of do this every single time for a different game. Because if I, right now, my phone is not running any game at the moment. So if I run that command, so if I control paste, so if I run that command, come on, sometimes it doesn't work, I'll have to paste it again. There we go, it worked this time. So if I run this command right now with no game open on my iPhone, it will show you all the processes that are running in the background. So for example, Twitter running in the background, there's Chat GPT, uh, Amazon files, YouTube creator app, uh, then fitness app for some reason. And it's not showing any of the games. So it's not showing any of the games. So this list, is no use for us. So in order for you to test a particular game, you will have to kind of do it like again and again for sing every single game. It's a long process, but it works. So be patient. So for example, I want to test it for Call of Duty Mobile. So first, I'll have to launch Call of Duty Mobile on my phone as normal. So Call of Duty Mobile is now launched. And now I will enter that command again so enter it again, that bundle application one. And now, all right. So once you have the game that you want to test the heads up display in, you will have to have that game running, even without the HUD, you'll have to have it running while you enter this command. And once, if the game is running, then at the very end of that list, you will have the command for that particular game. So as you can see, I'm running Call of Duty on my phone, and at the very end of this list, we have uh, private, where container, bundle, application, then that's the application identifier, and then it says cod.app. So it says cod.app slash cod again. So we don't need this cod at the end, so we will only copy this code from here. So we copy it. So as you can see, I have copied only the selected part. So make sure this is very important. Even if you have a single space in there or a single dot, it will not work. So be very careful. So only copy the selected part. So command plus copy, so command plus C. Once you have that copied, then we will have this third command over here. So. So everything, this will remain the same and uh, you will have to enter your device identifier code again. So remember we entered it over here in the second command. So you will have to enter it over here again. So this is the device identifier. So make sure to enter that. And once that is entered, then we will enter this command for the this command that we just copied for the game or for the app we want to test the performance for so that will go under these quotes so it starts with quote and ends with a quote too right so as you can see it starts with the quote and then forward slash and ends with dot app and forward slash again so we copied this whole thing from here so forward slash private, blah, 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 and then ends with cod.app forward slash. So we have copied that and we will paste it in here. Pasted it, okay? So this is how it looks. It worked. So the game has been launched and the heads up display is enabled. And as you can see at the top, it says A19 Pro, we got the resolution, we got the frames per second, and that's how you do it. So if you want to do it for, let's say, Genshin Impact, so you'll have to close this game and you will have to launch Genshin Impact normally on your phone first. Once you have Genshin Impact launched, you will have to run the second command again. So second command, copy, paste and run. So there we have it. 
once you run the second command, because now Call of Duty is closed and Genshin Impact is running, so the last part of the result that we get in the terminal is for Genshin Impact, as you can see, for slash private war, blah, blah, blah. And at the end, it says Genshin Impact dot app and forward slash. So we'll have to cap copy that part. Copy it. Come over here. Paste it. Once you have it pasted and you have the full command ready. So make sure this identifier is your device's identifier. And this command is copied from your terminal. Because if you do, if you just copy my command and don't change the identifiers, it will not work because every phone's identifier, because the game has its own identifier code, as you can see. For me, it's A56B5F, blah, 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 blah. For yours, it will be totally different, even if you're running the same game. So everything is totally different. So once this command is ready, copy it, come back to the terminal, and close the game. You have it closed. And as you can see, nothing is running in the background at the moment. So put the phone down, cable is still connected, and run that command that we just copied. So that I have pasted, I will enter it, and it launched automatically, and it should have the heads up display enabled. There we go, okay? So now, this is how I do it. So it's a long process. So what you can do, so for example, if I wanna do something quicker when I'm making a video, what I do, first I make the list of the games that I want to test in that particular video. So for example, I want to test Genshin Impact, Call of Duty, PUBG Mobile, uh, Car X Drift, Car X Street. So these are the five games that I want to test. So what I'll do, um, I already have my device identifier and I will launch these games one by one and make five commands. So like this is one command for Genshin Impact. I will, as you can see at the bottom, I have one for Call of Duty, then one for Car X Street, one for Genshin Impact, one for Resident Evil, GDS San Andreas, Assassin's Creed Mirage. So I have these. So what I need to do, I will just have to like copy this part and paste it in this part of the command. So like you can gather these information so that'll make the process quicker if you're trying to do things. But if you just wanna test it one by one, do it one by one, that's up to you. But yeah, it's, it's a, it, it takes a long process. It takes a lot when I make these videos. Um, yeah, so this is it. And um, Ultra Human Ring Air, they are running a really nice Black Friday discount. So as you can see, I'm wearing one too. And uh, so use the code that's available on your screen now to get 25% off for a limited period of time. And if you're watching this video after that time, you can use a regular code you're seeing on the screen now to get 10% off. But if you're, video, if you're watching this video and uh, the 25% discount is still going on, then go to their website, order for yourself right now, and uh, get ahead in the fitness game. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, this was a very long tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments down below, let me know. And if you want me to test, uh, like now you have all the, all the things for yourself, right? So you can do your own tests. But if you still want me to test something and make a video um, on, uh, if you want me to test another game or anything on iPhone 17 Pro Max or iPhone 16 Pro Max, because I have that one too for, from my dad. And uh, if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.